welcome to the fourth part of the ios ssl pinning series so we will perform public key pinning in this video few points to remember uh, while doing public key pinning so these are the steps which we which we need to have so basically first we need to extract the der certificate from our host by using this open ssl command the second will be conversion of der to pem and finally extracting the public key using pem so in this step we'll get the public key of this particular uh, you are a host the second step will be making the hash or a digest using sha256 and finally we have to do the public key pinning so the purpose of public key pinning i have listed here it's just to detect whether the public key or a certificate of a specific host has changed or not so this this may happen when when an attacker is actually compromising that so the the keys will be changed in that case and obviously you will uh, reject that request so that's the purpose of public key pinning so let's get started with public key pinning like i said we need to extract the public key from our host so we'll use these commands so i'll copy this command which will help me to get the .der certificate and I'll go to my terminal and this is my path and you can see once I you know run this first command you, you just need to have your host here you don't have to write HTTPS or www just write your host and colon 443 and just hit enter so you'll see a .der certificate being made here in this particular folder okay now the second step will be conversion of this der to my pen so I'll copy this and this is it. So you can see the PEM here. And finally, the last command which will help me to extract the public key. So you'll key you'll see the public key in the terminal itself. So can you see this is the public key of API dot open weather host? Okay, so I'll use this public key, I'll match see since I have this public key with me now. I'll copy this public key in my code and you know it, it depends like you know I can I can write it here so this is my public key or we can say a local public key okay and I'll copy this right and now I'll compare this public key uh, by doing the pinning and if from the host also I'll, I'll receive the same key I'll match the hash so this is like a hash right this is a hash so i'll match the hash and if both the hashes are you know same then we we say that the request is granted otherwise you know we can reject the request so we'll see that in a moment so let us start with public key pinning so i like i told you i'll be using these codes in the links uh, so i'll pick this one first rsa204 ASM1 header. Uh, I'll put it here, make it private, and even the public key here should be private. So, uh, ASN1, ASN stands for Abstract Syntax Notation 1. So, this is like an interface language which is used to define the data structures that can serialize and deserialize. And ASN is generally used in cryptography and uh, networking. So if you want to read more about ASN, I'll uh, post this link ovasp.org. Here we have uh, enough information for ASN1, like what it includes, like it has an algorithm ID, version, extensible format, and a little bit more information. So if you're interested for reading more on ASN, you can read this. And even it also has a public key pinning. So it will tell you like what is pinning, which I told you in the first slide. And public key pinning. So yeah, here you can see you can read more about public key pinning, like what it is and how the things are done in public key and how the keys are extracted. So I'm basically using these methods only. And even this site also uh, tells like to use Truskit for public key. So we'll 
we'll also do trust kit in the next next video or so but for the time being we are sticking with url session only so we have this right and then i'll go back to my buxy.com blog and here i'll copy this so this is a function which is creating an sha digest okay and let me build the code and see if everything is fine okay so there are certain keywords which are not found so i need to import common crypto and then i believe the build will be succeeded and also we need to remove the warning so we don't have this now and for this we just need to add base address so base address is like you, it's, it's like an unsafe pointer so if i run this i believe we won't be having any warnings okay now let us focus on uh, we'll just clean it so i'll just focus on public key pinning now so public key pinning we'll again go back to this method did receive challenge public key pinning and in the certificate pinning, uh, I'll just comment this code uh, in a moment because I will be using only the public key for now. So both cannot be used. Like, you know, you, either you should use a certificate or either public key pinning. So for public key pinning, uh, we need to do the same steps. So almost the same steps, but a little bit of difference in the comparison. So first I'll create server public key. So we, we, we have the, we have the local public key with us, right? Now we need to create the server public key. Okay. So server, let server public key equal to sec certificate copy key. And this is the server certificate. Let server public key data. data and that will be what sec key copy external representation and all these what i'm taking from the blog which i showed you nil okay so far so good now we have to create the data so server public key data should be typecasted to data and I need to create the hash key now. So server hash key, which I will be matching, and I will be calling the SHA256 method, which I copied, and we have the data with us. So this is the data, right? Server hash key. Now, uh, after running this function, I I have the server hash key. So we have the local hash key, we have the server hash key, and now the only thing is the compare comparison. So comparing server and local hash keys. And what I'll do, server hash key double equals to local public key or local public hash key. So then everything is fine, uh, else the request is Invalid. So I'll just copy these lines only. And I'll write public key pinning failed, and I'll just cancel the challenge. And here, I'll look, I'll copy these two lines, and I'll write public key pinning is successful. And I'll also comment out the certificate pinning part because we are going to see how public key works so this will be nil in this case because i'm not creating any url credential so let us put a breakpoint here and uh, my device here's my device it's not connected with any any proxy you can see no proxy has been connected so i'll just run the application on my phone okay and let us see like the server the public key pinning is working or not 
so the application is running fine and we do have the breakpoint here and we can see like we got the server public key we got the data and we got the server hash so axmgt and i believe this is the same which we we extracted from the terminal so this is a success the server key pinning is a success and obviously if i again type the certificate you'll see that the certificate is the open weather map org so the certificate uh, from which we have extracted is the same uh, you have seen here in, in in the following commands i have used the same thing and i extracted that server cert.der so here my pinning is successful and that's it and you can see in the mobile that i am getting the temperature so let us connect charles again so this is my charles and i'll open my phone as well so in the settings i'll go to configure proxy manual and i believe the local ip will be the same and should not change 192 168 1.7 and 8888 is the port so i am connected with charles now and what i'll do i'll go to the proxy settings and ssl proxy settings and what i'll do i'll just uncheck this and remove this okay now let us run the application again to check what happens using public key pinning so I have Charles connected and I'll also receive the API call. So pinning is still successful. You can see here, pinning is still successful, but I'm not able to see the call. Obviously, you know, you can see here, the call is kind of encrypted. But now again, let us enable the SSL proxy and see what happens. So when I enable this is a boxing and run the application again on the device here so let us see the hash key so my hash key is mv which is which is different from this okay so so the pinning is failed and if i print the certificate you can see that this is now a charles proxy here so now my my charles proxy is actually trying to do the digging and uh, trying to do the man in the middle attack by seeing the response and result uh, response and the request but but you know you'll see that this keys are not matching the server hash key this is uh, this is now with charles this is the charles hash key the certificate the public key of charles since it is changed now and this is the local public key which we actually extracted from the terminal so that's why the pinning is failed and obviously public key pinning is failed and SSL pinning is failed. So once I go to this function, it will receive a cancel block. The same thing which we did in the last video. And there is a localization merit message SSL pinning failed. And you will see here nothing. You will see here nothing or you can just, you know, uh, show an alert. Uh, something went wrong. So you know things are not working okay now let us disable this and i'll kill the application and i'll run that again it is working fine but now i enable it just to see the request and response it won't nothing will come nothing will come and you'll see that when i try to hit this right so in the charles itself in the charles proxy you can see uh, it is showing the red sign and it is also say, saying SSL handshake with client failed. So the public key pinning is absolutely working fine. And we successfully did the public key pinning in using the URL session. So, you know, now at least the Fiddler and Charles like tools, which are the man in the middle attack tools, uh, will not be able to see our request. Even they, even they want to try it. Okay. They won't be able to see the request. So they, they just need to disable the SSL proxy and then only they will work. So this is all about public key pinning.
now in the next video we will be doing this using lmfire with very minimal changes and finally i will be installing trustkit and then we'll see like how in trustkit we do the public key pinning i hope that is clear if you have any questions do let me know i just recap it so the, this is the same step which we are doing only thing only difference is like we, we got the public key first and then we converted the public key into the data and finally we created the hash from our public key which is which we got from the certificate here from the host certificate here okay at the leaf level like i told you the zero zero index means the leaf level okay and finally we are matching comparing both the keys and that's it so let me know if you find this video useful please like it see you in the next video bye, -bye.